Hello guys, welcome to the Human and the Machine Crypto channel. Today we have a great follow-up about... The Avalanche Asia Hackathon. Yeah. So guys, if you're wondering where more than $5 million of this funding is going to, yeah, check us out because we're going to be talking to the supporters behind this hackathon. Stay tuned! So welcome to a follow-up of our hackathon, right? Avalanche Hackathon. Yes. So with us, we have three great uh, panelists that are going to help us understand what's going on and how things are developing in the hackathon. So with us is Wilson Wu, founder at Avatar and head of Asia at Avalanche. How are you doing, Wilson? Pretty good. How are you guys? Um, I haven't talked to you guys for a while. And I think last our panel has been like one, two months ago, right? And the, um, we're developing pretty well um, for Avalanche here in Asia, and also the hackathon has been ongoing. And I think it's a great chance to catch up with um, you guys and uh, have a conversation with the communities and update each other. And also um, we are welcoming um, all the new developers coming to the um, hackathon and also join the ecosystem. Yeah, so we're looking forward to it. We are very happy to see you, man, right? Yeah. Okay, and also Mark Standwick, co-founder at Ava Lounge. How are you doing, Mark? I am doing great. Um, really uh, happy to be here to talk about the hackathon. I think it's uh, a tremendously important event. Uh, we're really, we're really glad to be supporting it. And yeah, really looking forward to getting into it. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for being here. And Lucas Liu, Senior Research Manager at Huobi Incubator. How are you doing, Lucas? Doing good, doing good. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to see um, the, the, the hackathon goes going well and excited to um, see how the product is uh, doing. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Lucas. So, Wilson, tell us a little bit more of how things are going uh, over there. Okay, so for the hackathon, um, we're, we're pretty much um, on a steady growth. And uh, um, because there's many um, hackathon going to market, and so for our global site, uh, we will start doing some um, extra help and um, um, message distribution to various of our, our channels. And the US side of uh, Morales Hackathon just ended. And now we have more resources input to the Asia side as well. So um, I believe this year going to be the builders year. Um, the builders, um, they will see opportunity everywhere. but. Um, who actually are really helping them, what kind of resources is something that they need. I think these are the very important key factors we're looking into the market. And the, by looking to the detail of the hackathon, I think you know there are a few key points we are looking at uh, why this hackathon is different. So I think that kind of message and information is something that builders are looking at. Um, I think after we talk to many of those builders, we are, we are seeing that they need many helps. Um, it, it, it involves in the, in the crypto blockchain uh, side of projects actually requires a lot of expertise. And we, we've seen, you know, some, um, uh, some builders, they're only, they're only good with technology or, um, you know, the tech side. Um, many of the builders, they're, you know, pretty, pretty weak on the marketing sites or community sites. And you know these are very important things as you're building a, a, a DApp or um, something like a platform. You need to engage with the community. You need to update the community, and you need to interact with the community. So this is also important. You know why we bring you know Avalanche in together here. Um, you know Mark is an expert to engage with the communities, and we also engage with the community in a in an organic way. So I think that's a very important you know fundamental. Uh, support we are trying to bring to the um, to the to the people that are building here, and let them have a very organic access to the communities, and so they can focus on building. <clears throat> and apart from that, it's also very important fact is you know how do people access to the market? So then they have the access from various exchanges and channels, DAXs, and everywhere. And um, in order to help them to build that. So we also bring our guests uh, from Huobi incubators, uh, exchanges, and these are the very direct access they need uh, to the to the to the market. So user can easily access to them, and incubators that can help them to build all the infrastructures and platform that they need to in uh, before you enter into the exchange. So apart from those helps that they need, uh, we also bring a lot of resources from VC side. You know, funding is also very important. 
So this the reason is it makes us different is that we're trying to build this hackathon as an investment hackathon. So we bring the all the partners um, here um, in Asia, including VC entities, um, you know, wallet company, trading company, exchanges. So it's a comprehensive kind of combination of those um, investors coming to to help the project to grow. It's an it's an um, essential elements um, for projects to start growing into ecosystem. So I've, talk, I've talking to many people, I say now in the ecosystem, it's more like a very early stage. And this type of early stage kind of grows, it's it's just like a like a new city with the, the, the concrete uh, floor, we only have few buildings and everything is pretty new. So, you know, we need to provide such resources and support to help those projects to grow. Yeah, so that's something we are providing in this hackathon. And I'm sure many people, they are aware of it. They might already submit it. And we also know there are many people that may not aware of it. So let's spread word out. And, you know, we are pretty open to all different kind of developers and they can come in and build and still very early stage, any different kind of ideas. It's, it's, it's a very open community. So we are very community driven um, platform. So we are, we are happy to invite those people to come in and build. And uh, whatever support needed, I believe you can find those supports um, in the sponsors um, and supporters um, in this hackathon. Yeah, so we're pretty happy to to help, and uh, it's, it's an open opportunity. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, uh, very well summarized. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like the analogy about you know the foundation building the city. It's absolutely true. So, uh, Mark, you're on right. How are you going to help us build, you know, the homes, the buildings and the infrastructure of the city? And also tell us a little bit about yourself and Avalanche as well and why you guys are supporting this Avalanche hackathon. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be happy to. Uh, well, just to start with Avalanche very briefly. Um, so Avalanche is primarily a launch pad, um, but there's a, a lot of work that happens behind the scenes. Uh, we've been a part of the Avalanche ecosystem for a long time now. And so in that time, having focused on it, we've developed a, a, a pretty strong familiarity, I would say, uh, with uh, the community and the projects and the needs and, you know, and these kinds of things. So through the launch pad, we try and service the broader ecosystem as best we can. So bringing good projects that are relevant to where the ecosystem is at and um, working with those projects pretty closely uh, for a long time leading into some kind of event like that. And so we have um, a, a pretty strong background at this point of helping newer projects in Avalanche because the, the, this uh, kind of early stage of a project is pretty contextual to the ecosystem, I've found. And each, each ecosystem is a little different. So the, the reason that we were excited about this hackathon in particular, uh, well, there's a couple of reasons. One, you know, it's, it's expanding Avalanche into a market that's massive and important. And um, Wilson's done a really, really good job in the time that I, I've known him, which is a while now, um, in getting avalanche um, awareness way up in parts of the world where it just didn't exist prior. So that is just pure tried and true growth. That's awesome. Uh, but with this hackathon, hackathon in particular, it's not really the case where um, uh, there are uh, smaller teams, that, you know, uh, putting together projects and, you know, just going after a bounty. That's all good, you know, that can drive a, a, a good amount of innovation. But the, the way the hackathon is structured is really designed to engage uh, communities, our community in particular, you know, amongst others, and I can talk about how that's happening too, uh, but get these projects well positioned to, to really grow, you know, with exchange partners like, uh, you know, Huobi and, and like Wilson was saying, the whole, the whole um, foundation around it, that's a very, very hard thing to achieve for a lot of projects. And so the, this it's kind of built into the, the DNA of the hackathon. And I think that's uh, is really impressive. And so with uh, the Ava Launch community, you know, our, our community is uh, pretty thoughtful and engaged and really cares about what's happening in the ecosystem day to day. And so we wanted to be able to expose them to the hackathon and also have a say really in um, what was happening inside of the hackathon and, you know, who was making kind of progress and um, have a, have a, have a vote, let's, let's say. And uh, they'll be able to do that um, with a, a voting system that ties into the token. And again, that's very unique. You know, the, the community gets to 
observe, uh, have their opinion, and exercise it uh, and influence the results. And I don't can't really think of a better way to uh, engage a community around new projects, new technologies, new teams uh, than that. So uh, I think uh, it works on a on a lot of different levels. Which is why we were, you know, really excited about supporting it in uh, the biggest way we could. Great, yeah. great. And question, Lucas, what is it uh, for Huobi? Why Huobi comes and is mm -hmm. interested in the hackathon by Avalanche and Avalanche? Yeah, um, just to give you guys a, a brief about uh, about us. Uh, you know, the mission of us is to incubate and uh, empower blockchain projects all over the world and mainly uh, help early stage projects ship their product to the market and uh, bootstrap users from zero to one um so and as someone you may know our difference between uh, an investment institution or, or venture fund is we will provide resources and uh, customized incubation plans besides just fund investment which include you know technical support For example, if you wanted to design tokenomic, we can help it with that, or tech realization and marketing growth, which is the part uh, we're most good at. Um, and that was what well, I'm talking about: listing, community building, and marketing promotion. And uh, for for some DeFi project, we could even bring liquidity uh, support to it, or become a validator if you is required by you. And you know, as as Huobi, we are a builder as well. Um, we build exchange, wallet, hack also. But we just want to help and invite more builders uh, all over the world to, to create Web3 world together with us. And uh, for this time, the Avalanche Asia hackathon, you know, uh, Avalanche and Huobi has been in a good relationship things through all these years. And uh, even me and Wilson, we know each other uh, in life. Um, so when Avalanche told us they are planning to host the, uh, the hackathon, we're already thinking about collaboration uh, in the first mind. Um, so, you know, Avalanche is a powerful and easy to access blockchain. And uh, they're hosting the, this black ha hackathon to, to help the ecosystem grow. Um, even you're, if you are a beginner, because they have this amazing um, welcome track and all these workshops you could attend. Um, and we also see um, the Asia blockchain market as a very important one. Since uh, we have the best developers in the world, uh, we have the most experienced one and creative ones who know. I mean, take a look at, at the Web2 world. You can see how TikTok or, uh, or even WeChat conquered the market. Um, yeah, so, and on our side, uh, I would say, I'm, we hope we're still one of the most popular exchange uh, in the world and uh, the most popular exchange in Asia. Um, so that makes a lot of sense for us to support the hackathon. Uh, we decided to see the creative project come out from it. And uh, also it give, a good, give us a very good chance to be in touch with the project uh, in the very early stage. You know, Mark, uh, how do you see this, right? When it comes to like trends, you know, uh, what are popular? I'm sure you have a lot of uh, thoughts around this. Yeah, you know, I, it's, it is an interesting question. It's like, you know, uh, you know, what is hot? How do you identify what's hot? You know, and uh, as a launch pad, you know, we kind of primarily operate from this frame and this perspective, uh, which is, you know, when we like when we were first starting, you know, the ecosystem as a whole was pretty young. And so it was pretty easy to say, sit back and say, like, all right, these are the things we think Avalanche needs. Uh, this is what an early ecosystem should have, um, you know, and, and have a, a thesis about kind of like what pieces are appropriate. Uh, and what I learned was that it doesn't really matter what I think is appropriate. If there's not people building it and there's not good teams working on it, I'm just going to sit on my hands and do nothing because we also have a community on the backside of all of this stuff that wants to be exposed to, to good teams and good projects. So... Um, I, you know, obviously there's trends in the market, identifiable trends. Um, there's things that feel relevant and popular and you can kind of look out from those and, and start to think kind of what's coming next. Um, but we at uh, Avalanche are in a, in, a, in a bit of a unique position because we have the luxury, uh, the privilege of meeting with teams and 
having their attention and getting to really dig in and dive in and, and they want to tell us uh, what's going on. You know, not everyone has that, that, that privilege. Um, but what comes from that is, is, you know, the teams that um, it, it becomes very clear very quickly, teams that have any kind of um, set of set of real beliefs and convictions around what they're building. And I almost don't care what those are. Right. Because like that's not I'm not smart enough to know everything that's ever going to work. But what I do know is that crypto is very, very hard and uh, engaging a community is hard. Taking these things to market are very hard. Um, and uh, sustaining over a period of time is very, very hard. So the primary thing that we're looking for at any point is do these do does this team believe in something enough to weather right the the inevitable difficulties, right? Because beyond that, like if I had those answers, you know, maybe I wouldn't be doing this. I'd probably be retired somewhere on a beach. Um, but it's uh, you know it's it really is the character of the team, and it sounds a little cliche, uh, but it's true. Uh, and when a team believes in something, you know, that comes through, that comes through in the community, that comes through in the marketing, it shows up everywhere and people gravitate toward that. So not only does it create a better product and a more durable one, uh, but a stronger community that believes in what they're doing and can get behind them. And, um, yeah, it's not the easiest thing in the world to identify, I suppose. Uh, but when you're looking at a lot of projects, when you're, I guess, you're, I suppose when you're actively investing as a VC or a community retail person, whatever, um, to me, this always affords affords the best chance of success beyond vertical or category. Now that we kind of talked about how to identify or not identify the trends, what are the actual types of projects that are doing well in the hackathon so mm. far? Or which ones are like the ones making the most noise? Because there's so much going on. I think a summary would be good. Uh, maybe Wilson, if you can just give a you know brief about this. Well, I think, you know, at this moment, it's actually very hard to judge right now because I've seen um, different kind of projects um, uh, popping up. Um, there are a few type of projects. One type is they just, um, their, their um, you know, long-term hackathon attendees. So they, they attend, you know, all the hackathon everywhere. Um, these are the projects I think there's no so-called belongings and there are also other um, projects attending the hackathon. Um, they're really um, early stage project. They need a bit of care such as you know Lucas team can help them to, to start um, you know looking to and start building. Um, these are the second type they need a you know babysitters to help them to grow. Then the other type of projects are more mature. So these are the type of projects, and um, you know, we we talk we we talk to them, and behind the scene, they are also very um, eager to participate. And some of them, they are actually start uh, still preparing uh, the projects. So likely they will be joining in the second half of the hackathon. So they are trying to present in in a better way. They don't just trying to say, okay, you have a hackathon, then let's submit, let's do it. So it's not this type of projects. So we see these three type of projects. So um, um, I think you know I I, I wouldn't be looking at um, individual projects. Say okay, A is doing good, B is not doing good, because we still want to try to create a, a fair market. We want to um, you know judges um, from um, you know exchanges, VCs, wallet trading company. We want all those all of those um, judges to judge by themselves. So then they can look you know which one's really good, which one's not really good. So it become a fair market. And the second part is the community. So that's the purpose to create this quadratic pool where <clears throat> we're putting some fundings and user um, participating <clears throat> with some little fundings. So they they can they can participate in a community ways and you know possibly they can get some returns some um, after they participate, but it's not something that are guaranteed. But I think that's the power of the community driven kind of um, ecosystem where um, if everything we're looking in return only, you know, it, it not become a health ecosystem, but where we are trying really to contribute into the ecosystem. And sometimes the return you come back, it, it could be monetary, it could be non monetary. So <clears throat> I think that's something and an important factor of a very community driven um, ecosystem. So um, yeah, I wouldn't say which project I would think is good or better. I would leave the market to discuss about it. 
But so far, I've seen you know different kind of um, sectors actually are popping up. So initially, there was some um, you know DeFi, gamify kind of things, and uh, from you know the the submission um, uh, page, um, you know we, we need to do some filtration at at stage one. We were seeing some infrastructure plays, um, and also you know the different kind of metaverse plays, and and we we, we see there um, behind the scene uh, still at a screening stage, and some of the docs need to be. Um, you know, um, refute uh, before popping up to the to the to the front page that people can review and the community can participate. So I think <clears throat> uh, entering to the second part of the hackathon, and the variety of the project actually are are getting better, and uh, the quality of the project we're we're seeing it's getting better. Uh, it just need a bit of guidance, and uh, um, we are also working with the headquarters site uh, to have all other channels to um, to redistribute the message and to encourage better uh, builders to come and play. And on the message side, I'm also trying to emphasize to the to the builders because initially I think they might not know what kind of things we can help them. So we're an ecosystem. We're also trying to help them to build. So as what, what we mentioned, you know, no matter on the incubation site, you know, we have Lucas here. On the community side and also the ideal platform, we have Mark to help you to 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 look into, and on our Asia side, we have gathered all the Asia side the top VCs, uh, wallet companies, exchanges, uh, trading companies, uh, media companies, um, also with the help of human machines. So I think that can can be providing a very good resources for the project to grow to the next stage. So all these things are the essential tools and panels the project needs. In the whole developing process, so I think these are the very different kind of aspects we're trying to bring into the projects to help them to grow into the next stage. Yeah, yeah, and then like winning too as a community, yeah, as sure. a project together. Of course, sure. Yeah. So uh, Lucas, how do you see this? Right, you know, there's so many moving parts after the launch pad. Of course, a lot of projects need to get uh, listed on many exchanges, right, to support. You know, how does this uh, work in general, and you know, how does Huobi Incubator come in? For um, we'll see. Um, for this uh, hack, uh, Avalanche Hackathon, we will take very seriously uh, to evaluate each project. Uh, whether you are not uh, you are a winner or you are not a winner, we will definitely um, go through a project. And uh, the project that we selected to get to our incubation program has a, a very big chance uh, to be listed not only on Hobby, uh, but we have uh, an, uh, other uh, exchange partners uh, that could uh, do the listing scenes together with us to help the, the, the project gain market growth. And uh, so can we, each one of you, give the community a message of why they should care? Because, you know, like in other panels, right, we, we have talked in, and uh, some of the, the great panelists we have had have told us that sometimes communities just don't vote. They mm. just they just kind of care, but not enough to cast a vote. I don't know if it's, um, you know, just because people have grown so disheartened that voting never really changes anything. But in this case, it does, right? So could you each one send a message to the average person that is holding the token or is, is interested in any way, right, of why they should care, why they should vote, yeah. how they are really truly making a difference in the world? Yeah, very important. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so let me start it off with this first. Um, to participate, uh, uh, you know, so-called uh, crypto blockchain type of projects, engage many things, engage institutions, engage with the community, engage with individual people. So um, if we are building an ecosystem, it's just like when we are building a, a city. And if the city without, you know, uh, factories and companies, it won't survive. If a city without people, it cannot survive. So when we are building an ecosystem, we need both of them. And but if with you know the previous experience, the COVID shut down, it, it just lock everyone's up and there's no transaction and the city dies as well. So the key element of this whole thing is about we have the project in the market, we have the community member in the city, and they need to interact, they need to communicate, they need to transact. So that creates the blood of the ecosystem. So the, the community participation is really the essential and the blood inject into the ecosystem. It help each other to grow and to help each other to understand and it feedbacks to the community eventually, um, you know, after they, um, they, they interact. 
So that's my understanding of how important is the community engaged in the ecosystem and to create that kind of um, the, the essential interactions and the, the blood into the ecosystem. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that's a great answer, Wilson, by the way. Um, but also, you know, the, 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 the hackathon itself is designed in a way that um, actually rewards participation. So it's, um, I think it's empowering in that way because this is a, you know, the early stages of a project, um, the incubation, uh, the VC investment, all of these things that are kind of folded into the, the, the hackathon. You know, these are typically not necessarily available to most people, right? And, and I think it can be a, a very cool experience for um, a community member to become engaged in that process through the hackathon. So I think it's uh, important for people to take the opportunity to, to, to be empowered, have a say, uh, get exposure, um, and direct this thing that they obviously care about or else they wouldn't spend so much time sitting in Avalanche, sitting in crypto, um, and they can have an influence too. And I think that's a, a, an important thing for anyone to, to experience. So um, yeah, I think it, it can be very empowering. Well, thanks, Great. Mark. And Lucas, what's the message for the community? Uh, the mechanism it brings the community gets uh, to decide who who get funded with their vote. I think it's a great chance uh, for both the community and the developers. Um, <clears throat> since uh, it's a very good way for the the community to learn to to really get into the project they are interested. In. Because if you if you want to 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 vote uh, for someone, you have to learn it and you have to go deeper into it. And that maybe brings you other interesting things. And on our side, uh, you see, uh, uh, personally, I think the voting uh, thing is a very, uh, it's, a st it's, it's a quite important standard for us uh, when we chose choosing uh, the project to get in our incubation program, because that, that is the, the market decision. And uh, I think, yeah, it pretty explain what I uh, brought me. Yeah, I think a lot of times we forget that, you know, when we see ourselves, we look at a unit, right? A tiny unit, a tiny person that can't make a difference. But I think we forget that we are all expert users, all mm -hmm. expert consumers, right? Whatever it is that we like, we know what is best for us. So that should give us more confidence as a community and as a voter. Agreed. And reflecting on what Lucas said, it's actually kind of true. Back in the 2017 ICO days, mm. too many people would just read the website, read the yep. white paper without doing proper due diligence and you just invest and they got burned, right? Sure. But what you said, okay, if you really talk to the developers of the project, you know, do the due diligence, I think this is a much, much uh, smarter way to really assessing, right, you know, the projects that you want to be supporting. So yep. great point there. Yeah. Guys, thank you very much. And uh, we hope that everything keeps going well with the hackathon. Uh, all the best for each one of you individually. And uh, hope to see you very soon next time. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Machine. Fucked. Yeah, look, um, it's really good to, I would say, stick to reality. Mm -hmm. Know how to identify real value instead mm -hmm. of just mm -hmm. following the trend and hoping you're going to ride the wave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Indeed, indeed. I, I mean, listening to these guys, these guys are serious experts in doing what we all would like to do, which is kind of peek into the future, right? Right. And, and see, okay, this is good, this is good. But they're not passionate. They are not emotional at all, right? They're, like you said, grounded and rational. And when I hear these people saying, you know what, I better, you better learn and just put your money somewhere and hold that, that's it makes sense man instead of the jumping of the everyday i mean it's possible right the everyday trading but for a lot of people this is just mm -hmm. too time consuming for example so it's, yeah. it's a great way of investing long term yeah and if i had to take away you know one key message from this conversation i always thought hackathons were only for developers just for developers and that's it but uh -huh. it's actually different yeah. The community is literally the blood, as they were saying. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, they may even be more you know, important than developers. So I would say, is, look, if you're a community member, mm. get involved. It doesn't hurt. Mm. There might be future rewards, as they mentioned. Yeah, it's very possible, of course. Yeah. I, no, I, I also, you know, for me, a hackathon was more about a competition only. Mm. But this is investment, incubation, yes. uh, the, whole, the whole way, right? Like from almost zero to market.
Yes. So yeah, yeah, I, I learned a lot, and I like the point of views of of mm -hmm. of all our panelists. Yep. And That's for good. those of you that are watching, you know, let us know which project are you in particular following? Which one do you think are gonna gonna make it to the top? Let us know. Let our community members know because you guys are literally the voice. Yeah, the yeah. voice, the blood, and the reason why everyone is developing. Yes. Actually. Yes. Yeah. Machine. All right, man. Thank you no, very much. Another good conversation. Another one. Thank you, man. Yeah. Take care of yourself. You okay? too. See you guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves.